In this video, we are going to talk about Sip and Puff technology, the various features it has and how it is used. Sip and Puff technology can be used by people who have severe motor impairments and cannot operate a switch manually. For example, this could be someone who has experienced a spinal cord injury or has ALS. With the Sip and Puff, the user is able to sip or inhale and puff or exhale to activate the device to do something. These could include computers, power wheelchairs, augmentative communication devices, adapted toys, or environmental control systems. In this video, we will be referring to and demonstrating with a Joust 2 Sip and Puff attached to a computer. The parts of this include a joystick and Sip and Puff tube, a mounting arm with a clamp, and the control unit with USB cable to attach it to the computer. The device comes with seven different mouthpieces. These come in longer and shorter length. The longer length will give the user more leverage and require less force in moving the joystick. Installation of the device is simple. One must attach the clamp of the mounting arm to the table and then plug in the USB cable to connect the Joust 2 to the computer. Lastly, connect the cable from the joystick to the connector labeled joystick on the control unit. The Joust 2 replaces an ordinary mouse and provides this function right out of the box. There are additional advanced features that can be activated on the rear of the control unit if desired. These include dwell cursor capability, text input to the computer using Morse code, and the ability to replace or augment the SIP and PUFF inputs with switch inputs. Please see the instruction manual for further explanation of these features. Certain features can be adjusted easily on the front of the control unit by using a small screwdriver. You can adjust the sip and puff sensitivity, which changes how hard a person has to sip or puff. You can change the speed settings for text entry mode, and you can adjust the volume of the audio tones. To use the Joust 2, it is important to position the sip and puff mouthpiece at the appropriate level so it is accessible with minimal head movements. Once properly positioned, the mouthpiece can be moved like a joystick to control the movements of the computer mouse. It can be used for any computer function from surfing the internet to typing in Microsoft Word using an on-screen keyboard. To right click, the user will sip, and to left click, the user will puff. To double click, the user will puff twice. Watch as Jody demonstrates. We hope you have learned how to install and use the Joust 2 Sip and Puff on your computer. Thank you for watching.